Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Gopesh. Hope you're doing perfectly well. So, hope your weekend is going perfectly well. So, what we are going to talk about today? Today is going to be a brand new playlist which is you know going to talk about the Grufana Bela. Now you say what is this Bela all about? Bela is a you know interesting tool launched by Grufana last year. you know from a cloud and grafana enterprise so that we can do the auto instrumentation of our uh, applications and to get the metrics and traces in you know automatically independently so there's a terminology used is epbf application auto instrumentation you know suppose what happens suppose i don't want to instrument my applications manually in modifying the source code and adding those relevant variables of fan and traces so grafana bela is a tool or binary that uses that automatic one step and then generate the matrix and traces related to those you know individual endpoints now how this is going to work and it will capture the https uh, related you know uh, red matrices rate error durations and it will capture the traces and the matrices and then it will send to your individual lgtm stack now for this what do you need you need a working application first and then you need a bela to instrument to do the auto instrumentation on that application third you need an agent to capture that thing right in this case we'll be using alloy so alloy plus bela is a deadly combination and at last we'll be sending all those you know metrics and traces to a lgtm stack in this case it will be a grafana cloud so basically we will divide this use case into four categories and then we'll see how the data is you know traveling so again a very short theory let's get back to the uh the practical implement implementation of this you know video of of, of this you know of, of this topic and i've created a github page for this if you have if you can really want to mimic the thing you can simply go ahead and i will be pasting this uh url into the description of the video and then you can follow along with the video with this documentation last but not the least if you've not liked then subscribe to the channel please do that so that you can uh, hit the bell icon so that you can get the industry use cases related to grafana open telemetry and so on you can you know explore yourself what is there in the in the, in the channel okay let's get started so i have a mini cube cluster up and running uh, i'm doing everything on cube and it is right so grafana bela actually it will auto instrument or auto identify how many applications are running across the namespace and then we'll do the auto instrumentation and we will be running as a daemon set why daemon set so that we can understand how many nodes are there in your cluster right and in next session we'll be doing with the help of sidecar so we'll talk about sidecar in next session but today we'll instrument a very basic application using grafana bela and then we'll with the help of bela it will send to the grafana cloud okay so first of all the bare minimum you need to have a cluster i have a cluster already you can see cluster is there i am into which namespace let me show you i am into open telemetry demo namespace is nothing this everything is empty okay so first of all what we are going to going to install so we'll be installing the grafana alloy so grafana alloy we still use it as an agent to send the data from the otlp exporter endpoint to the lgtm stack so i'll be creating this config map and the config map is nothing but it is the same config map that we have used in our previous lecture we are we are uh, okay so grafana we'll talk about bela in a while first of all we are installing grafana alloy in chart so this will you know make your grafana alloy running with a with a receiver like you know otlp exporter which will be getting the data from grpc port 4317 and then once it gets the data it will be sending the data to output to matrix logs and traces and here my matrix is the you know grafana cloud prometheus locky is the prof grafana cloud locky uh, all these urls and then uh, traces is the grafana cloud traces so i'll be sending uh, the data matrix logs and traces to grafana cloud and i'll be capturing the node exporter matrices also from the cluster uh, a uh, cluster ip running on port number 9100 and we'll be naming this you know job as alloy node exporter and then send, and then we'll be sending it to prometheus remote right fine so that is the us 
click on the grafana alloy uh, config map and this is the the helm chart values file of alloy helm chart so i'm not doing anything on grafana i'm talking about the alloy so i am first of all creating this config map and then we'll be installing this helm chart with this configuration use my config map from here and these are certain extra ports so that i can send my application data to this otlp grpc port 4317 right so let's get started let me first of all install create a config map of uh, for grafana alloy if it is okay we will delete this it is here already okay the config map get created so now i will upgrade my alloy helm chart which will uh, you know install the bare minimum um, alloy helm chart with this configuration you see the values.ml file i'm saying use this config map which will act as a receiver see alloy is all, already an uh, just an open telemetry based agent it will capture the data and then it will send to the grafana cloud and I'm initi initiating the extra port, enabling these extra ports also, like GRPC port and the HTTP port. Let me see. The alloy is running. Let me see the service of alloy. Okay, alloy service is also running with this these additional ports enabled for GRPC and HTTP, which will be used as an OTLP exporter endpoint. Fine, my alloy is running fine. Now I will install my Grafana Bela, which will actually instrument all your uh, services which are there in the cluster and then uh, let me see what is there in the helm bailer dot uh, yaml file so so i'm just saying so it will this helm chart will instrument all the services which are there on the cluster and we'll send those data or the traces to this otlp export endpoint which is nothing but your alloy service see alloy service of o3 one seven, which is the grpc port and then i'm saying i'm saying please capture all the matrices of prometheus as a uh, matrix endpoint from 1990 volt this is additional information that i got from the documentation this is the bare minimum thing i'm not doing anything fancy or anything rocket science i'll just upgrade this ela helm chart so now this will install your my grafana bela helm chart right so let me see okay pod is also running let me see if any uh, error is there in the pod of bela mm. okay there's no error and luckily everything is running fine now now i have a alloy which is an agent which is which will capture the data i have a bela which will instrument the application now i need to install uh, node exporter also why node exporter just to make sure that i'm capturing the uh, infrastructure matrices of this, this cluster just to showcase i mean this is not really important but just to showcase that i'm capturing the let me see the node exporters running on node exporters also running the node exporter service yes so let me capture this ip if this ip is same or something different yeah this ip is different so i need to modify the config map sorry i need to just modify this config map again uh, i will upgrade my helm chart okay del config map alloy and then i'll do this and then i'll upgrade my bay uh, the alloy this is just to make sure that i'm capturing the right ip or service of node uh, node exporter perfect so you get a cc KGP alloy let me delete this alloy pod again so that it is automatically capturing the latest config changes fine so alloy up bail up from this node exporter up now i need to install the application so so i have a um, python based you know very small very swagger based application which is uh, and i'm 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 having a config map also which i'm giving the service name i'm not giving any kind of hotel otlp exporter endpoint so endpoint will be the uh, bela will automatically instrument this application 
and will send that data to you know this endpoint so first of all i'll install this application and then uh, let's see what will i will do right so let me go inside this folder okay i'm already inside it so let me just okay so let me see okay my application is coming up kgp application is running now k get service k port forward i left forward the service port a okay the application is running fine now what i am doing in this application i have simply created a deployment it's a python based application running on swagger it's a namespace it is not that will create it it's a service that is getting exported as a node port service and then finally i have a config map but you see i am not passing any otlp exporter endpoint in this config map which which i am doing in my bela helm chat so i am saying auto instrument all the services which are there in the cluster and then send this matrix and traces to this endpoint which is nothing but your alloy endpoint then alloy will send this data to you see alloy config map 4317 nothing but this okay so alloy will get all the data in this otlp receiver on 4317 and then it will send the output to matrix logs and traces like this you see the chronology first of all application in emit the data spit out the data uh, the bela will instrument it and then it send the data to alloy and then alloy will send to the lgtm stack that is the complete story right now let's see everything is installed let's see the data on the grafana cloud let me do some hit whether the hits are coming or not Okay, let me go to Grafana Cloud now. I'll go to Explore. I'll first of all go to Prometheus whether any matrices are coming or not for last five minutes actually, and then I'll run my magic query which will show me any data is coming or not. Okay. Perfect. I can see the data. Let's analyze this data. Okay, one by one. So first of all, I am getting the node exporter job. I'm getting this data from last five minutes only. Okay, I'm getting the matrices from Alloy Node Exporter, which was, which was there in this, you know, which is capturing the data from the Node Exporter endpoint, right? The infrastructure matrices, and then we'll see the other. So all these other jobs are capturing the matrices which are instrumented by Bela. So Open Telemetry Demo is the namespace, and Single App Collector is your application which we are running. and we have another node exporter service which is running so you see if i do k get service i am having the single app single node collector this is the instrumentation matrices sent by bela and the node exporter from which is node exporter this one correct and the alloy finally so it is capturing all three services automatically it is instrumenting and there are certain services on cube system names phase also let's see this is interesting so it is actually not only doing in the it is taking the other uh, namespace also see it is doing the port dns is another uh, service and then traffic is another service right perfect so i think matrices are coming nicely let's see whether the traces are coming or not i'll go to traces okay and then i'll search it for last 5 minutes A lot of traces are coming. Let's see whether I did some hit on my single app node collector. So I'm getting the all the hits that I did. Okay, and I'm getting all the matrix and traces collectively from that. So this is what Bela does. Now next and final the final thing which we need to do in this. Let's see the Bela dashboard. Okay, so I'll add this red red matrix dashboard. It is all automatically it has done is and done the instrumentation okay i'll just simply add this bela red matrix dashboard import mm -mm -mm. 
I'll do it for last five minutes. Yeah, see, I'm getting the data nicely. Okay, so Vela red matrices is this is my uh, Prometheus uh, data source. I'm getting the service name, all three important services that are there. Okay, I am not getting any data here. The duration, I'm getting the uh, request rate, error rate, inbound node exporter, all three services. See, inbound core DNS, Prometheus node exporter. And then single app collector graphic outbound ally outbound services so today we have not done anything fancy it was a very straightforward implementation uh, using bela and then the data was coming onto the dashboard dashboard nicely so just to summarize everything you know what we did we install uh, grafana alloy separately let me just quickly so this was the first we install uh, the grafana alloy as an agent and then we install vela which will capture the auto instrumentation data and will send to grafana alloy and then we installed that third point was we install the application on kubernetes so this was sending data to this vela vela was sending to this alloy then alloy was sending to grafana cloud right so we still need a agent to capture that this is the agent right this is the instrumentation guy this is my application so basically we have four pieces and this is the lg team stack correct so i mean that is pretty much if you have any doubts and queries related to grafana bella which is a pretty new topic do post down into the comment section i'll try to help you but again there are certain limitations on grafana bella do check out the documentation what is possible what is not possible but still it is a very powerful tool as you have seen, I have not done anything fancy. I have just installed Bela as a daemon set and every, it has done the auto instrumentation of all the services which are there in the in the entire cluster, right? So do check out. Next thing we will be doing a Bela with sidecar container. We will talk about more on how to do config map modifications. So I will just take a pause. If you have any questions, please do check out. Do reach out via comment section. And yes, do not forget to like and subscribe the channel okay we'll see you later we'll talk to you later happy sunday again thank you bye, -bye.